Shalom, I'm Rabbi Ari here at uh, Temple Shalom in New Milford, Connecticut, and let me tell you what we've got uh, going on this week. Today's Monday, and this evening we have our executive board meeting at uh, 7.30 p.m. Uh, tomorrow, Tuesday, vote, vote, vote. Uh, make sure that you uh, fulfill your civic duty, no matter what your party, uh, we encourage everyone to uh, vote their conscience and do what they feel is right. Uh, there will not be coffee shop hours or Tuesday Hebrew, uh, because school will not be in session and uh, parents will be with their kids, or voting, or voting with their kids. But uh, make sure that you uh, fulfill your civic duty. Uh, Tuesday evening, however, at 7 p.m., uh, we're having Ladies' Night Out, and the women of Temple Shalom uh, will be going to see Bohemian Rhapsody. I saw it the other day. It's great. You're going to have a wonderful time. Um, and that's for any of the women of Temple Shalom, uh, whether you've RSVP'd or not. Um, and uh, feel free to bring a friend. Um, and then on Thursday, uh, we'll be having another one of our beer mitzvahs, uh, grab a brew with the rabbi. Uh, this week, it's going to be at the Housatonic River Brewing Company at 30 Kent Road. Uh, it's just down the road from the synagogue. Uh, this has been a great opportunity uh, just to get together with members of the congregation uh, socially for an hour or so. Um, it's a very nice experience. We're getting a really good turnout, uh, and we enjoy it. Um, Friday, we have a very special service. It's the anniversary of Kristallnacht, and we have a very uh, special uh, Kristallnacht memorial uh, service planned. And our member, Susie Leiter, was about 11 years old uh, when that actually took place. And she'll be speaking at the synagogue um, uh, before all of us, uh, sharing her actual personal memories and what she remembers from that day. Um, and the invitation, of course, is open to all of our members, as well as anyone from the community. Community, uh, who would want to hear firsthand an accounting of what took place at Kristallnacht. That's this Friday at 6.30 p.m. On Saturday, 9.30 a.m., we have our Torah study, uh, followed by services at 10.30 a.m. Um, we have a number of upcoming events in the community. Uh, Thursday, the community culinary school is having a uh, special dinner, um, and uh, the Federation is offering a program on gender imbalances and surprises. Um, and uh, Friday, of course, we have our Kristallnacht service with Susie Leiter. Uh, Saturday at the JCC, there's a dinner theater uh, called Tally's Folly, and it's not too late to get tickets for that. Um, Saturday, November 17th, James Barron, our uh, member, uh, he's done special training uh, about climate reality with Al Gore, and uh, he's going to come uh, share with us a, a brief video and a brief uh, conversation uh, with our member Robert Couturier, and they'll open up for questions and answers all about uh, climate change and climate reality. Uh, it'll be followed by a uh, wine and cheese reception, and it's free and open to the public. Um, on uh, November 19th, that's a Monday, the Association of Religious Communities, of which I am on the board, will be hosting an interfaith Thanksgiving service in Danbury. We encourage everyone to come. Uh, December 1st, it's hard to believe we're already talking about Hanukkah, uh, but our Pajama Havdala theme for that night uh, is going to be Hanukkah, uh, which will follow shortly after that. So um, that's for families with children six and under, our Pajama Havdala program December 1st. Uh, January 5th, Abigail Pokerbin is going to be uh, speaking at our synagogue about her book, My Jewish Year, um, and there are a number of Jewish Federation events attached as well. Uh, in the media section, uh, we have a link uh, to uh, last Friday's uh, special Shabbat service. It was a uh, family services uh, led largely by our youth uh, from our Jewish Journeys program and our Tuesday Hebrew program. I spoke about the tragedy at the uh, Tree of Life synagogue, um, and there's a uh, link to that whole service. Um, I hope you uh, follow that. Um, and then on uh, Saturday, our uh, Shabbat morning services were also very well attended. Um, and uh, we have a link to uh, Saturday's services as well. We wish everyone a Shavuot Tov.